Hey everybody, this is GliderCat and it's time to play. Also time to play more Captain of Industry, the beta. We're rocking and rolling. I did quite a bit of work in between episodes. Not actually a whole lot of building, but a lot of kind of babysitting. Let me, let's, uh, let's check in and just see where everything's at. I've got the game paused. Uh, you can see in the top right, I've got some error messages here. Not enough housing, don't care. We just have uh, two, I think two extra people here. They'll have to bunk up with somebody else, I guess. Uh, no designations to be available to be mined in the mine tower area. We'll get to that in a second. I'm just going to delete that for now. And there are mining designations outside the mine tower, mine tower area or mining tower area. Not a big deal there either. Last episode, I was working on setting up the uh, advanced diesel production. And that's here. Let me show you how this all works. I've got... Uh, two duplicate setups they're kind of mirror image of each other so one thing i'll show you in case you're not familiar with one of the recent features they may have had this in alpha i'm not sure but if i grab say ooh, i unlocked distillation stage three anyway if i grab this machine or this building i can hit the f key and it will do a mirror image so if the ports or the output ports aren't quite where you want them you can rotate and it's or flip flip it and it's super handy for doing like mirror image kind of things here so i've got two distillation stages distillation stage one machines and then two distillation stage two machines if that makes sense and basically if we look at distillation stage one you can see it takes it takes in oil it takes in steam and it dumps out i think that's heavy oil or heavy oil and medium oil so those are the guys in the back here. The oil is coming in through this pipe up top. The oil branches down there into that guy, branches down there. Again, it's mirror image. Steam is coming in from the side. So we've got, here's my boiler set up, and I've got some um, loose storage for coal. It's full. We're doing really, really good, by the way, uh, right now on just about everything. There's our boiler generating steam for us. Steam comes in the side for this one. And then we pipe it across and then down on the opposite side for the other guy. Then we've got heavy. I think this is the heavy, right? Heavy oil. Right now I'm just burning it off in a flare. But that comes to kind of a, these two pipes join together and then they flare off and we burn that. There's pollution. Eventually, we'll we will um, process this heavy oil, and I've got I've got a pipe set up, and hopefully, I can path through here and get that heavy oil out. If not, we'll rework the pipes. And then what else? Then we have right up next to it the distillation stage two, and that's taking the medium oil directly through a connection. They're sitting right next to each other, and so they there's a connection that is formed between those two buildings to Pipe over the medium oil into the distillation stage two. This guy also takes steam. You can see it kind of coming in down here, I believe, kind of near the ground. This pipe right there. And that's really all it takes, steam and that medium oil. That gives us our diesel. The diesel jumps out this pipe, comes out this way, and then it branches into these tanks. Basically. Um, I started just by having one row of tanks storing diesel. These are all storing diesel. We have a bunch. These aren't all full, though, but we have a, quite a bit. I started out with just one row, and then I added two more rows of tanks. And so this just forks between the beginning of the rows of tanks. This is kind of serpentine. It goes like from here to here to here, and then our output's way at this end. But I just left the two input... Um, pipes figuring if, if we are really low maybe that fuel will head over to kind of near the end and if that's full then it'll just start at the beginning of the line here anyway we got storage for quite a lot and then again just a mirror setup i'm only running i've only been running one set and i've got them both on a boost if you look at the right side of the screen you can see we've got over 2000 diesel we're doing really really good 
This set of tanks here is just for the incoming crude oil. I don't know if these will ever fill up, at least anytime soon, but I think the last three tanks were full. And then I put the, um, the distillers here on a boost, so I'm just trying to kind of work through this backlog of crude oil. Just while we have the Unity available, might as well make use of it. Here's our tanker. I added another module to our um, cargo depot. And so now the ship brings in twice as much crude oil per trip. What else? Uh, we've got a backup diesel power or a backup diesel generation here for with basic distillers. I put this up when we were really desperate on fuel. It got down to like under 20, I think, 20 units. And so I scrambled to set this up. But right now, this is just kind of a backup. So I've got two tanks full of oil. In fact, I should turn off the truck imports and exports for now until we absolutely need it. And we'll keep this as just a reserve. I've got two full tanks of crude, and I got two full tanks of diesel, and import and export are turned off, so nothing should happen here. This should all stay here. We'll leave it paused. Take, took the worker out of the liquid dump since we're not running this. And so this is like a little bit of a safety that we've got going on. Cool. That was the main thing I built, actually. I didn't really build too much. I may have upgraded some pipes and things. Um, what else do we have going on that I can tell you about? I think I added more, a couple more water harvesters here and another set of tanks. These are doing really good. The start of the line is right here, actually. The water comes in from all these guys. Makes its way through this type pipe, and this is kind of where the our water main here is. Heads up through here, boom, and then back down through here. And then it feeds. Do we have all the farms irrigated now? It looks like we don't have... Yeah, it looks like maybe we do. These, I believe, did I upgrade all these? No, I didn't upgrade all the pipes. But kind of north of here, I did. So these are the level two pipes. And we've got quite a bit of water. You can see we got over 3,000 liters, units, barrels, whatever it is. We've got 3,030. I added a couple more rainwater harvesters here. I'm just a little paranoid that we're going to run out of water. We got really low early on. And we've only got one water reservoir available to us. If I put on the... Um, the overlay here, you can see there's just one that we can get to. There's more up here, but we're not there yet. We're getting close, though. I'll show you in a minute. So, yes, yeah, so I threw down some more collectors. The only downside of putting the collectors on, obviously, they take up some space. And they consume a little bit of wood, but we're looking pretty good on trees, and we're close to getting up to the next tier. I'll say again, I'm going to show you that in a second. Um... It's actually going really, really well. Let's see. How many tanks are we empty on here? One, two, two and a third of a tank basically empty. So I do have the pump running right now just with a boost. You pump out some water. The reservoir is almost full. 7,900 basic units of water underground available to us out of 8,000 possible. So I haven't had to have run this much, but I figure I might as well just do it. Since we've got room in the tanks, might as well run it. Not much going on over here that's new. I added, what did I add? I added storage for, a couple loose storage for gravel. I've been toggling these machines on and off, this uh, crusher, along with the concrete mixer. I've been kind of turning them on and off and throwing a boost on them. And so I put a couple buffers here just for loose storage so I can fill up the loose, both of these up, and then not worry about running the... Uh, a crusher since it takes electricity and a couple of workers and we're doing pretty good on concrete concrete slabs we have a full storage of them and the belt is looking pretty good we'll probably turn this on in a minute construction part ones are a little on the low level they're being consumed right now to make construction part twos i added one more loose storage here we're doing pretty good but I used up a bunch to repair another offshore oil rig. So let's look at the map. I did a little bit of exploring. Not much, not much at all really off camera. I just um, came up to this note here. We've got an offshore, offshore oil rig. It is repaired. 
I've got it paused because we don't need the oil right now and we don't really have the workers to, to do it uh, or to run it. I've got three shifts, however, running on this oil rig and it's got all the maintenance it needs. So this is just humming along pretty good and we're accumulating more diesel. I explored one more node out and got my butt kicked. We had, uh, I was up against two ships and one of those ships had two sets of guns. And so we took a beating and our ship is back in port. It may actually need repairs. Let's take a look. Yeah, it does. So let's repair it. Do that up for repair. We've got a good number of iron plates. So we should be in good shape there. What else? Let's move our way up through here. Yeah, just added storage for construction part twos. One more building. Uh, and ran a belt to connect those two storage buildings. Talked about the loose storage there. Nothing else really here is new since last episode, I don't think. Then up here near the copper area, um, how we doing on copper plates? We've got one storage full and, I don't know, one storage plus 55 units of copper plates. Maintenance is at 99%, believe it or not. And I'm just running a single maintenance depot with a boost. And then I've got electrolysis running with a boost. And mainly just because I have the unity to spare and it saves on electricity, which right now we're all on, we're entirely reliant on diesel-based power. So I've been using boost to kind of conserve diesel. Copper mine's going fine. When we're totally caught up on plates, I've been having the copper mine move over here and just start chipping away at some rock just to clear off space, basically, and stay productive because this guy will back up. Once there's no copper to deliver or the copper hopper here is full, it's not full now, though, then I've been reassigning it to some mining designations over here. And then here's our ramp. Look at this. We're, we're there. We're not really there, but we're close to being there. We just got to chew through this section here. So I had, I had my excavators kind of move over here and do some crazy looking excavating of this mountain just to generate fill closer to the ramp so the trucks didn't have to travel as far. And then as soon as I could, basically, once we got close to an area where I could kind of create a plateau, I set up a mining designation over here. Again, I'm just chewing through rock to create fill. But I had two excavators working up here real close to where we're doing the fill. And this part filled in really, really fast. Part of it's because we're on the side of a mountain, so we're not getting as much kind of spillage off the side, off of the left side here, because it's butt up right next to a mountain. And part of it moved fast because... uh had the excavators very, very close to where the trucks were picking up and dumping the, uh, whatever the backfill. So that is looking awesome. We're going to set up new mining designations here pretty soon. This episode to chew through the rest of this, and then we're kind of home free. We've, we've made it up to the top tier. We don't have to worry about wood anymore. We just have to worry about building a massive factory. Very cool. What else? What else? What else? Tech tree. Let's look at tech tree real quick. Got a bunch of stuff researched that I haven't built hardly anything, but I got a bunch of stuff researched when we want to get around to it. We left off somewhere around here. So we have the advanced diesel. We had that last episode. I researched biofuel. I think we had the power generation last episode. We've got extra vehicles. So now we've got the ability to create what is that? Another 34 uh, trucks or excavators. What else we got? Ship weapons, ship armor, cargo depot. We already saw biofuel. I researched. I'm not sure if, when we're going to use this, but we'll see. Okay. Cracking unit. Oh, nice. I think they must have just had an update because these were not showing the buildings. Or maybe they were. So with a cracking unit, we can turn... Okay, we can turn food into fuel gas. And dirt. If that's really worth it. We get out of four food, you get 16 fuel gas. And out of 16 fuel gas, I guess you get eight diesel. 
But you got to deal with carbon dioxide. You got to deal with oxygen. We'll maybe get into that stuff. A little intimidated at the long production chains. We'll just have to work through those. What else did I research? Not too much. We got rubber. If we want, we've been just trading for it, and that's actually been pretty effective for us. Uh, we haven't used too much rubber. Upgraded pipes. We just completed steel smelting. We got to set that up. We don't have any production for that. Uh, mechanical storage is ready. We should probably get going on coal power generation. We got gas combustion if we want to burn off some of that heavy oil and generate steam. In fact, we might. This could be a candidate, right? Right now, we're just burning off heavy oil for no good reason and getting nothing for it. If we add some water, we're doing pretty good. We could create steam with it. Wow, same thing with the light oil, right? Right now, we're wasting two of these products and we're burning coal instead. We could switch over to burning D, basically uh, byproducts from our diesel production. So that's an option for us, for sure. Copper refinement, which is another way to process copper with acid. I don't know that we're producing acid yet. We could right click on that and come into the kind of the codex here of all the recipes. Acid, how do we get acid? Looks like there's a new new production for this. We got to use a mixer building, which we either haven't unlocked the recipe for yet. But it takes sulfur and water, gets us acid. Okay. So we'll look into that. Anything else in the tech tree before we get to cracking here? As far as stuff that we've got turned on to research, we've got sulfur processing. That's probably going to get us the recipe we just looked at. Unlocks a mixer and the sour water stripper. That's going to allow us to turn sour water into sulfur. I think we're dumping sour water right now. We are producing salt, um, sour water as part of our advanced diesel production. And we're dumping the sour water. I didn't show that pipe. I can show you that right now, actually. That sour water pipe, guess where it is? It's this big one right here. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom. And there is the sour water feeding the fish. They love it. They love the sour water. Can't get enough. Now, eventually we'll reprocess that. We're wasting a lot of material. We're burning off the light oil and we're burning off the heavy oil. So there's work to do here to route those and maybe, maybe burn those to um, create steam and kind of feed that in here somewhere take place of the boiler. Unfortunately, that, that steam line forks right at the boiler. It's too bad that's not like one further back. We might be able to push this back a bit and then we could tap in that pipe with, with other steam production and still have it branch out the way we want it to. But where does that steam go after so it comes in here, feeds this guy, and feeds this guy. And then for the next array, it kind of comes underneath that top pipe down, feeds this guy, and then loops around and feeds that guy. So ideally, if we added steam production, we'd want to tap in before this joint, between the boiler and where this joint is. So we might be able to move that pipe over. It looks like there is room to do it. Let's just, uh, for the heck of it, take a look at that. Ooh, maybe not. It doesn't look like this wants me to connect there. It should. It's flat. Let's see. Regular pipe, maybe? No, it just doesn't. Oh, let's see. Will you? Invalid connection. Um, it's not the end of the world, but we might look at some, doing something there. Yeah, you know, I was kind of thinking of diverting this pipe over to here. Uh, let's see. Can we get a look at? Yeah, I don't know. It doesn't look like it wants us to connect to that. Bummer. Because if we could, then we just move this line and this line over to the left one. And we take our new steam production from burning the heavy and medium oil and run a steam pipe right there before this splits. Can't zoom in any further. Oh, man. 
Yeah, it does not want to let me snap a pipe onto that. Uh, I'm kind of surprised. I feel like we could do it. <laughs> I feel like we could do it. Anyway, it's something we could do. Uh, the other thing we need to do, or oh, well, let's look real quick. Sorry, tech tree. Let's finish up. Finish up. Software processing. We said we got some new recipes for that. We'll get. Uh, then we got settlement power. This is basically for Unity. I figure once we get the power generation going, the coal power generation, we can uh, maybe add power, settlement power, and get a bit more Unity. We're doing great on Unity. We don't really need it, but it wouldn't hurt to have it. And then what do we got? Third, we have construction part threes coming. Fourth, we have the assembly electric two. This guy gets us the ability to produce construction part threes. And maybe more importantly, it unlocks this uh, wood alternative. So this will allow us, if we want, to no longer use wood or our construction part ones. So that means wherever we're doing that production of construction parts, we want to have our steel production probably close by. And I think that's it. What alternative? Yeah, five. That's probably all I've got going on. Yep. Other things we want to do. Oh, did I show you? Yeah, I showed you the ramp. The first thing we need to do, I guess, is set a mining designation here and get on it. So let's, we can hit play. I've got this excavator. I've got a mining designation right now, just kind of cleaning up this little bump here and widening this out a tiny bit. Doesn't need to be that way. But let's update the mining designation to include the area we want to burrow out up there. We start up there and come down. How about that? Bring up the designations. We've got, you can see I've got a little bit more fill going here. It doesn't look like it's necessary and there is, I believe, a mining designation there. Let's, uh, if I click on the mining, I think it's gonna chew that up, that little hill. And then we want to just flatten this out and I need a place to dump this all. That's what the issue is gonna be. All right, let me choose flat. And let's uh, burrow ourselves out a path through here. That's probably more than enough. Okay, I'm pretty sure I did mining, right? Let's uh, double check that. I should say. Not start mining here yet. Yep, good, good, good. Um, I took an excavator off, I think. Let me add it back to this tower. I took one off just because uh, I saved diesel. But we're in really good shape on everything. I think we're safe to move forward. What we need now is a dumping designation. And we need to think kind of long term, what are we going to do? Are we going to try and flatten out this island? Are we going to try and just flatten out these hills? Are we not going to bother flattening anything out? And whatever we do, where are we dumping? And how are we getting that material over to the dump site? I do have another dump site started over here. to just extend the island out. And I figure we'll do, you know, kind of a bunch more of that. And maybe extend our community out over the, the water into this fill area. So that started. The challenge is... That is a huge distance from where we're doing our digging. So we're going to chew through a bunch of diesel just delivering these goods. And we need to think about how might we want to belt stone and belt whatever else. Dirt. I don't know. Rock. And what do we find here? Is it just rock and dirt pretty much? Rock. Empty. Yes, it's just rock and dirt that these guys dig up. But I'm kind of wondering if we should have like a loose storage here for rock and then, you know, and then a U-shaped conveyor that takes it down and out towards the coast. Save us a bunch of trips and then just start, you know, 
start building on our island. Not sure. But I'm thinking now, you know, we've made our ramp. We can get, we're kind of, we don't need to add more ramps necessarily. Maybe it'd be nice to start extending the island with this fill. It's just a little dubious about having so many, you know, such a long distance to drop off the uh, fill. I'd rather use conveyors if we can make it work. Conveyors and loose storage. The other thing I ran into I should mention is because of the way I've got my pipes set up here, I can't get excavators from our original vehicle depot. In fact, this one's paused. I can't get excavators through because these pipes are in the way. The excavators won't go under pipes even if they're at the maximum height. What you can do is place the, um, where are they? I researched it, the ramps, and then you can run pipes underneath these ramps. Where are you, ramps? Right there, vehicle ramps. So I researched this in a hurry, thought this will be great. I'll just put a ramp over here. But this thing's a monster, right? Look at the, how big this thing is. So the ramp is going, you know, left to right, right to left kind of thing. That's where vehicles drive over. And the pipes that you, or belts, or conveyors, whatever you want to do, channels, whatever. There's three slots underneath the bridge that run kind of top to bottom. So I was going to put one here to get past this pipe. Or actually, I think it was over here at the time. And I actually ripped out this pipe and started to do it. And it's just, I don't think it's worth it. Just so bulky. So what I did instead was I just built another vehicle depot. So when we need vehicles, we'll just... Plop down a vehicle depot. These are actually pretty cheap. I imagine that'll be changed in the game because <laughs> these are there are only 40 construction parts. That's what I did. Uh, it occurs to me we should pause these, right? Why, why do we have workers sitting in the vehicle depot when they're not doing anything? Kind of a waste. Let's pause this and free up some workers. 16 workers just for doing that. So that's something to keep in mind if you if you play vehicle depots when they're not being used, pause them and get your workers back. So we can use those workers at least one shift to run this oil rig. That is a better use of people. Food is okay, pretty good, right? It says 99 months. We've got belts taking food off of these farms. I haven't gotten around to doing a belt for this farm. In fact, it's paused. I think there goes our oil rig or tanker going to get more. How are we doing on fuel? 2168. Yeah, that keeps climbing. Waiting for construction parts to kind of catch up. And then we need to do construction part threes. So advanced diesel is pretty good. We need to think about what we want to do next. Guess it's a tie between coal power generation, burning off this gas in a more productive way to generate steam, or routing this loose material more efficiently than having trucks drive the entire map to get to the dump site. I'm not crazy about just dumping off to the side. I'd like to actually clear a bunch of this and make use of this land. Just not sure how we want to do it. We don't really need, it doesn't look like we're going to need to. I think we're going to have plenty of space once we get up here to build all the stuff we need. But I would love to have an efficient way to get Bill out of here. Get this rock out of here. Uh, where should we put the loose storage? Up top. I just don't know if down here we're going to start chipping away at this mountain and, you know, dump right out into the sea here. Kind of thinking that's going to happen. Um, let's see, let's see. How could we do it? We could start by running a loose storage. We could put a loose storage for rock right here. 
and run a belt down this way and try and have our trucks only be filling the, the loose storage things rather than coming all the way down to the fill site. I don't know if that works or how that works. Let's try it. Let's try it. It's going to take more rub. Well, we've got a decent amount of rub uh, rubber. Let's see. What are these? U-shaped conveyors. Yeah, take rubber and advanced construction parts. Construction part twos. I guess we'll just experiment. Let's just experiment. Let's see. See if we can save a little bit of distance here to start out. Again, this is just 50%. Tests and 50% actually trying to achieve the objective. I'm going to put a loose storage here. I'm going to mark this rock. Truck export off. I don't want to be taking rocks from here. And then I want to use a channel or whatever this is, a uh, U-shaped conveyor. We can go high with this, I think, right? And bring it all the way down. Maybe hug the mountain a little bit. Again, just experimenting, so. <laughs> May not turn out to be totally useful, but I think we've got the resources now where we can uh, get a little, have a little fun experimenting with things. I'm going to make that, put another loose storage here at the end. Be like this. And rock. And then this one will do empty, right? We want to empty this. And so hopefully they will go to the fill site right here and start dumping it off. I know that's not super close, but we'll see. We'll just see if we can. We'll see. Eventually we're going to expand out that way. I guess that's why I have it over there. Just see if that's actually going to work. And then if it does, we can add more segments to this and get closer to wherever we're starting to chip away at the, at the hillside here. These guys definitely need more trucks. Let's see if we can add more. Ooh, my queue says 80 seconds. If I look at the top left here. It's 80 seconds, so the trucks are starting to fall behind. How are we doing? This guy has too many, it looks like. Let's get rid of some here. Boom, boom. Leave that guy with three. Let's give this one at least one more. They're just having to make that super long trip. Okay, I see I'm missing trees to harvest. Let's... Let's clear out over here by the iron, because eventually we're going to do steel production. We may totally rework the iron, by the way. All of this may be, just like we did in season three. This is kind of the initial setup. We may scrap all of this or build something new that's a little more organized and scalable right underneath it. And then we'll decide if we want to keep this existing setup going or not. Right now it's meeting our needs. Looks like I need to turn on the concrete plant. I'm going to do it. Boom. And I'll run it on a boost. We've got a decent amount of unity. I can probably turn off the unity on this guy. In fact, I can probably turn this guy off for a bit and accumulate some construction part ones. This guy, I can turn off the unity and maybe we can um, turn off the boost that is. Maybe we can start saving up a little bit of unity. We're running a little bit low. 
There goes our concrete blocks. What else? How are these guys doing? They're doing their thing. Yeah, this, man, this is the second half of this ramp, I'm telling you. Super fast. It was like about one-tenth of the time it took to do this part. Man, it looks awesome. I don't think I can get at these trees. I've tried. Coal looks good. We'll see if this little experiment works. And then I guess what's next is coal power. We could do that. Let's see. We could expand our settlement out this way across the water and then come across and maybe have room for another farm or something here. And then I'm thinking maybe, maybe near the coal deposit, this one down here, we could do our coal power. The other thing we could do if we want is set up coal power way over here. Got a bunch of coal. Looks like there is a surface deposit there to get us started and a whole bunch. And then I guess we just dump the waste off the side here. But that's another option if we wanted to start building things up there. Whoops. Can't, can't. I wish I could scroll back a little bit more or a lot more, but I can't. I'm fully scrolled out. So yeah, we're about up here. We could start thinking about building some infrastructure up here and coal power kind of makes a lot of sense. And then we could use this space down here, who knows, for something else. Right now we're getting by on diesel power. I'm using Unity to its fullest extent. <laughs> I'm not crazy about using Unity or haven't been, but I've kind of embraced it for this series. Uh, I thought the map was going to be a little tougher than it's turning out to be. We're we're doing pretty pretty well, knock on wood. Everything seems to be plugging along. All right, the cement, some or the concrete line, I'm going to let this run a little bit longer. It's got a fair amount of storage in this uh building. So we'll let that work. I still have two homeless. I'm not sure why they don't just hop in a boat and get out of here. Is this getting built? Is anything happening here? You don't want to go. <laughs> you don't want to go here. Uh, maybe we'll try to keep this full. I want to see if I can get those trucks to prioritize this. Truck import is on. You can prioritize this. Again, this is just a test to see if we can route rock across the island because we got a bunch of stuff. We, if we wanted to flatten this island entirely, it would take a long time. But we could do it. And if we do do it, we don't want to be driving the rock all the way across the map. It'd be nice to use these um, transports to do it for us. These guys apparently see it. Oh, that's slag. That's fine. That's got to go don't have a good solution for slag yet. We might have to run another kind of similar setup with maybe a belt underneath or something, or just in parallel, another belt that's just carrying slag. Okay, some rock got delivered here. That's not a bad sign. And then this one we want to have set to empty, which we do. Truck import, I'm going to put that off and we want the export on. There's no priority on this one, I don't think. I mean, I can set a priority to get it built, but there's no priority for emptying this storage. What are we bringing? That guy's got construction parts. This guy's got slag that's fine and slag that's fine. Yeah, I can see we may want to do a slag one right next to it.
is all rock. We don't have long to go. We're going to make it. We've got plenty of wood and everything. The ship is docked see, and repaired. I guess we could send the ship out. The only reason I haven't been sending the ship out is because uh, he comes back with a bunch of people every time. And I don't need more people yet. I just don't don't need the people. Okay, that's cement. The output, or the concrete, the output is blocked. Let's pause this guy, take off the boost, and conserve some unity. I think I'm going to wait for some construction part ones to get built before we turn on this guy to produce construction part two. So if we're doing okay on level two construction parts, we're already at 200. Kind of watching this area just because I'm thinking I might want to do that with the uh, coal power generation. Just have it built way the heck out here. Start settling on this top tier since we claimed it. Get all that iron. Oh my aunt. We got lots of resource. We have a lot of re we have a lot of resource and a lot of material to move. Look at all that. Oh man, is that gold? That is, right? Wow, what do we even do with gold? I guess that's coming later. I guess what we could do, or what we should be doing, is playing with this stuff and seeing if we can't make use of these byproducts a little more effectively. Let's take a look. Or tell you what, let's wrap this episode here. We got the recap. I'm not going to work between episodes much at all anymore. We're getting towards kind of the later, the mid-game, and more of the areas of the tech tree that we didn't spend too much time on in Season 3. I'll probably keep recording each one here. But let's wrap this one here. For Analysis Glider Cat saying thanks so much for watching. Special thanks to patrons and channel members. You guys are the ones that make this content possible. I really, really appreciate your contributions. Uh, if anybody else wants to become a patron or channel member, there's information in the description of this video. And with that, I will say, see you in the next episode.